Welcome to Houston Real Estate Radio. I'm your host, Shanna Register, and every week we bring you news and information you can use on your next real estate transaction. If you've got a real estate question, give us a call, 281-882-8088. That number again, 281-882-8088. We like to answer your real estate questions right here on the air. You can also send them in other ways. I've gotten them as, uh, as emails and stuff too, but the call-in number is the best way to get us quick and get it on the air, and we can answer it right here for you. If you miss any of today's show, you can get, visit us online at HoustonRealEstateRadio.com, and we have all of the previous shows on video, so you can go catch up online. And that's actually what we're going to be talking about today is a little bit of video. I want to talk about video because it's become so popular with uh, real estate. It's kind of become synonymous with real estate. Um especially for out-of-town buyers, it's so important. So I want to talk about that a little bit today. So I've brought on an expert in video. I've got Matt Register here. He is a serial entrepreneur and turnaround specialist. He's a managing director and partner at Corporate Finance Associates down in Houston and a partner at, um, or I'm sorry, in a middle market investment bank, he is the one who helped me found, uh, found my brokerage, Register Real Estate Advisors, or RREA, uh, over five years ago. And uh, he's also my husband, so he's, he's been very instrumental in my brokerage. And he is the mastermind behind RREA Media, which you may or may not have heard of, but REA Media uh, actually uh, produces the radio show and then also uh, creates the videos of the radio show and puts them online and repurposes them online so that you can catch up with the show later if you miss it while it airs. Uh, you can go catch it online. So Matt started and he's turned around companies in technology, pipeline industries, music publishing, machine shop, accounting, and security industries. So uh, you probably kind of wonder what that has to do with video. So I'm going to let him tell you a little bit about that. But welcome to the show, Matt. Thanks. This is your first time on the air with me. Uh, Not the first, but uh, I'm not on very often. (laughs) So it's interesting. You you started your career as an infantry officer in the Army, and you did multiple combat tours, Afghanistan, Iraq. You uh, graduated from West Point. Um, went to the United States Military Academy, got an engineering degree, and then went on to uh, Rice University, got your MBA, and um, you've done all these things with companies. How in the world did you get into video? I just have absolutely no idea what I want to be when I grow up. Uh, You know, of all the companies I've been involved in, uh, as you're aware, Shannon, the the media company is the only company we've ever built on accident. Mm -hmm. And uh, that purely started as a realization about 10 years ago that as a small business, if you can control your own destiny online, you win. And you can compete with the big boys. Absolutely. Uh, You know, the Internet is a absolutely level playing field that allows smaller companies to stand toe to toe with much larger and much better funded competitors and and win uh, if done correctly. So uh, what started as a a realization and an interest in being able to control our own destiny online led to a uh, need to develop our own content. And uh, video was uh, certainly the way to go with that. So when you left the Army, you took over your family business and guided it through a 400% growth before you sold it to a Fortune 500 company. That was a, a company down in Houston. And you've had lots of other businesses that you've helped buy and sell over the years and, and been partners in. And this is really the only company that started in one direction and ended in a totally different way than what you kind of planned for, right? Sure. We, you know, we started with with needing the ability to produce high quality videos to sell houses for our real estate company. Uh, One of the things we never anticipated and uh, an an unintended consequence of that is other companies saw what we were doing uh, with real estate uh, outside of the real estate industry and approached us uh, asking, hey, can you help us with doing the same thing? And uh, sure, why not? It's the same people, same equipment, same process. Uh, applied to a different industry. So you were really the visionary between Houston, behind Houston Real Estate Radio, because you know I used to go on other people's shows and talk about real estate, and you just kind of said one day, why don't you do your own radio show? And uh, it just kind of fell into place, but video has been a huge component of that. Well, you know, for us, uh, because online is such a huge component of what we do, and producing massive amounts of high quality online content, uh, I love broadcast radio, but 
the ability to repurpose that broadcast radio for online use is is really the uh, uh, the the reason and the and and the root uh, uh, behind doing doing radio. It, it's you know the the broadcast itself is wildly important the listeners are hugely important but the ability for those segments to be found years later uh online is 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 even bigger yeah rea media has produced thousands of videos we were producing videos before gopros came out before there was uh the, the special makeup for cameras i mean we were producing videos i remember when we used to produce them in our home i mean it was when i first became a realtor and no one else was doing it everyone thought we were crazy uh nobody knew what green screen was and um it was just so foreign to everyone and now everybody's trying to do it that's right and uh you know one of the things we we realized one of the 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 theories we had early on was we saw a lot of very poor quality video being produced Mm -hmm. and uh (laughs) and and still do that's right And, and uh uh, you can, in fact, damage your brand, mm-hmm. you know, and, and, and I have heard people give real estate agents advice of, of use your phone, just do video and get it out there. And uh, and I do not subscribe to that that theory. I think there needs to be a level of professionalism. While nobody expects you to be an Academy Award winning uh, actor, right? Uh, they do expect a level of, of professionalism and uh, something that uh, doesn't look like you recorded a uh, vertical video with your cell phone, uh, you know, shaking all over the place and sounding uh, uh, like you're hiding in a barrel. Um, that's not going to cut it. So I know uh, when when I started Register Real Estate Advisors or RREA, our brokerage, I envisioned a brokerage where we could educate our agents um, constantly. We could make videos and we could sell houses using video. But you were the mastermind who came in and said, what if we put in a full production studio where we could do radio, TV, where we could do all these things. Um, and it has really been an amazing thing to watch uh, the growth. And like you said, now other companies come to us wanting us to do for them what we've done for our business well i'll tell you what you know i I, this was something that 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 kind of evolved over years this wasn't something that uh uh, nobody's claiming brilliance and said 10 years ago we you know knew exactly what what was going to happen it it didn't happen that way Uh, but there is coming a time where most businesses will have a media division in it. It is becoming more and more important. It is becoming more and more integral to the way we communicate uh, with our clients, mm-hmm. with our potential clients. Uh, it's it's coming, and and I think uh, you know perhaps we uh, were were leaning forward on that mostly because we uh, you know built a business around content marketing, and and you know it, it, it evolved from there. Yeah, I think that, like you said, a lot of small business, a lot of businesses, a lot of companies will have the ability to make video in house, but there are always going to be a lot of those companies that can't afford to do it in house, and then they need a company like REA Media to do it for them. Yeah, a- absolutely. And uh, you know, we we're an alternative, if you will, to spending tens and thousands of dollars on on hiring a, a massive production crew. Uh, you don't necessarily need that. Right. You, you need more than a cell phone, but you don't necessarily need to spend six figures to to get a high quality, uh, effective uh, video presentation for for your company. And that's what we've done. We've done this for for hundreds of companies uh, to, to great effect. So you're a businessman. How did you learn all of this? Well, uh, you know, the in reality, the uh, the. The people that work in this industry are are, are, are artists, and, and coming at it from a business perspective, uh, I realized I, I had to learn it, figure out what right looked like from a businessman's perspective, uh, and then hire an artist and, and bring them in and, and show them what right looks like, mm-hmm. and, and show them that there is a minimum standard, and you reach the standard, and you move on to the next one. You know, perf- we're not out for perfection. We're out for, for local news quality and, and move on to, uh, to the next project. All right, very good. Real quick about SEO. I know you do a lot of SEO um, for our companies, and I know that you know how important it is because you've built a lot of websites. 
What would you say to someone who's outsourcing their SEO to another company? I think the vast majority, and correct me if I'm wrong, we're, I'm here for a second segment, correct? Yes, you'll be right. Yes. We'll get to that after the break, but I think most SEO companies are solving the wrong problem for their clients. All right, we'll talk about that right when we get back from our break. If you have, uh, if you missed any of today's show, catch us online at HoustonRealEstateRadio.com. dot 